Um, I just saw a, a clip of Mick Foley from WWE TV this weekend. Uh, and, and I'm not, uh, we'll, we'll get into it, but the essence of the clip was him and CM Punk were in the ring and he, man, he said it so good. He said, 29 punk 29. Do you know what that is? And I'm going to paraphrase this and get it all off. And, and, you know, as it goes, Mick goes 29. That's the total number of days that I held the WWE championship. Yes. Not in one reign. Not in two reign, but in three complete reigns, he held the title 29 days. It's not about the days. We work ourselves into these shoots that you got to hold the belt this long or that long, or you've got to do this move off the top rope that is undeniable and all this. No, the the art is working. I, I, I don't know how Eric could not like a work shoot pro bow. It's it, to me, I'm saying, Oh, so you don't want to do a good pro bow. Cause right. I, the term work shoot in my mind, it's just a money making pro bow. Well said, I hope that's what we see from Mercedes Monet. And I, for one, do hope oh, she hold lands. On, the- hold on. How do you know it's it, rumor in any end up? You're heading down that as if it's a given in there. Oh. Some speculation. <laughs> I, I, I said, you know, that, <laughs> I hope she shows up in AEW. I know it's not announced, but we do know that Tony Khan has a big announcement. Um, listen, it's just us talking right now, Jeff. Nobody can hear us. What's that big announcement going to be? Well, you know what is is fascinating to me that over time and look, we, you know, we often get into Dixie Carter conversations on our TNA episodes, and we may or may not today. I don't know, but. You know, uh, oh no, you 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 can't overuse the the term. Uh, we've got an announcement. Well, generally speaking, it creates interest, it creates engagement, it creates discussion. Nick Goulas in 1972 said it every sa- every weekend. I signed the biggest card that I ever signed. He said it 52 weeks in a row. So making a big announcement draws interest and everything like that is. I, I love it. Um, it's the expectations that people think, oh, it's for sure going to be Mercedes or it's sure going to be fill in the blank, uh, this event or this storyline or whatever it may be. Um, Connie, I'm going to tune in and I'll get to be there live in Phoenix. Um, but I have a a strong feeling that, uh, you'll have your phone in your hand if you can't be in front of a television and you'll want to know what that big announcement is. So good buzz, uh, announcements always, uh, can create a buzz. Uh, you can, you know, go down the rabbit hole and, and, and listen to the naysayers that say, Oh, why the hell they do that? I like the fact that they're commenting on why the hell did you do that? It creates engagement. Absolutely. Totally agree. There's a lot to talk about. I want to talk about sting and the tag titles and revolution. And of course, we're going to get to some WWE news. You know, listen, we've had a couple of curveballs. We thought last week we'd be talking about something different. We thought this week we'd be talking about something different, but I think based on the overall conversation in wrestling, we should talk about what everybody else wants to talk about. As a friend of mine goes on TV and says every now and again, what do you guys want to talk about? Well, that's what we do here on the show. <laughs> what I want to talk about is the other rumor and innuendo. We talked about a big free agent and Mercedes Monet. Okada. Mm. Boy, a lot of buzz. Since you and I've recorded, his new Japan contract has come to an end. It expired on January 31st. I think it's uh, pretty well established that he was the biggest star in New Japan Pro Wrestling. And no disrespect to Kenny Omega or Will Ospreay or AJ Styles or Jay White or so many other great performers who went before him. Tanahashi. Is, Tanahashi's now running the whole show. And that makes me wonder Nakamura. Is that is that a great PR move to put Tanahashi in place so there's not a backlash with those fans when when one of their favorites leaves? But boy, there's a lot of buzz about what is O'Connor gonna do? Because there's a report out that allegedly he had a conversation with uh, Triple H once and said he'd like to perform at a WrestleMania. And why wouldn't he? I know a lot of American stars would love to compete on that Wrestle Kingdom card. But I guess the real question I have is should Okada 
sign with AEW. And a lot of people believe that that is where he will land because Tony Khan may pay him more and give him a more favorable schedule. And maybe he'd have a little more free reign in his creative and maybe be more likely to have longer matches and the type of matches he likes. So a lot of people believe he winds up in AEW. and I'm not asking for your answer about whether or not he winds up in AEW. I am asking, should that happen? And Okada make his AEW debut at some point soon. Is the last outlaw, last outlaw going to whip his damn ass? Well, you damn right. Yeah. You, you know what? It would be an honor and a privilege for him to take an ass whooping for me. Wouldn't you say, Connie? Yes, I'm sir. I mean, listen, I, now he needs to tread carefully because we know what happened. Now I know there's reports out there that it was diverticulitis or something else, but it's an old fashioned Memphis ass whooping is what put Kenny Omega on the shelf. That's well established. Well, you saw what I did to Tanahashi back in the day. Oh, goodness gracious. He ain't never been the same. He left wrestling completely. He's an office guy now. Made a kid, made his kid cry. That's a true story. Ask him. So, uh, you know what, Conrad? That, we, I mean, we are just getting cranked up on this episode of My World, and we're talking about two megastars that are on the currently on the free agent market that got the wrestling world a buzz. And, you know, Okada um, recently uh wrestled in the states at tna and oh you don't just no no don't comma and keep going that's why he's coming i think that's why he's more apt to sign with aew and i know people say well tony's gonna pay him more money and give him a better schedule and he might not even have to leave japan i hear you but you know in the back of his mind he's thinking there's one man over there in that promotion who made me dress up like a goof (laughs) in orlando damn near ruined my whole career and I've gone out and I've proven that I'm the greatest wrestler in the history of new Japan pro wrestling. And he's going to want to avenge it. And I think he might wind up with a damn guitar necklace. If I had to guess, that's exactly what, you know, uh, too much. Hey, you know what? It just hit me just a second ago too. uh, Phoenix, uh, headed out there this week for dynamite. Can you believe Conrad? It's been a year. That is the place that um, my father passed away uh, on a Tuesday, the following uh, Wednesday, but Tuesday was the, the, the service and you and, and many other folks were there uh, graciously and uh, flew out to um, Phoenix County. It's when I won that battle roll. So it's, it's hard. I, I say that to say a year has gone by, my, my, you know, my, my father passed away on February 14th, but, we're back at Phoenix and here we are talking about Mercedes and Okada and a big announcement and mm, stinger stinger title match. Lots of buzz kid. Lots of buzz. I got to tell you, I I'm of the opinion that tone and I don't know, I have no inside information. I don't ask for scoops. That's not my way. I, I don't, I don't leverage my friendships to get inside information. That's not my deal. However, here's a little spoiler for you. Tony Khan's announcement tomorrow is not going to be that Sting's last match is officially sold out because there's like 44 tickets left and they might be opening up some more. Go grab them at awtix.com. We'll talk about that in a minute, but they're going to announce that the new main event is Okada versus Jeff Jarrett for the <laughs> death match championship that he won last year. Texas the Texas Chainsaw death match that's happening. And it's going to be the main event.